When Good Nature started in conservation technology nine years ago, we set out to develop a trap that could kill a rat and automatically reset itself to kill again and again and again. Nine years later, here we are on Stewart Island, home of Rakiora National Park, and we're 12 months into a rat eradication of native island. The exercise is proving how Good Nature's A24 rat trap can remove the target species and keep it that way so that our native birds can begin their return from the deep south. Native Island is 65 hectares in area, with habitat typical of the forests on the Stewart Island mainland. Also typical of the mainland, native birds were under severe pressure from rats. In fact, the island was saturated with rats, with a 73% density when monitored before we began the operation with the Good Nature A24 traps. Now Native Island has a different distinction. It's the first island in the world to be eradicated of rats by using only automatic resetting traps. So how did we do it? The answer lies in the design of the A24 trap. This is the Good Nature A24 trap. The A stands for automatic and the 24 stands for the number of kills you get per CO2 canister. It's a really simple system and in this cutaway you can see all of the key elements. The rats are tracked into the trap by our long life lure and to get to the lure they need to brush past the sensitive trigger and when they do it releases a chamber of pressurised CO2 sending the striker across with great force killing the animal instantly. The striker is on a spring which allows it to retract following a kill. At this point gravity takes hold and the animal drops out. The chamber of CO2 automatically refills making the trap instantly available to kill again. We developed the A24 trap in partnership with the New Zealand Department of Conservation who sought labour saving methods in the critical bird protection programs that it runs. Starting 12 months ago we worked with the department's predator expert Darren Peters and the local community to plan and establish a network on Native Island. The plan was simple, map the network, cut the trails, determine the rat population, install the traps and then routinely measure the impact of the newly established network. The A24 sits in our toolbox, in the department's toolbox, right out there because it's our only non-toxic method to knock down and control rats, possums and stoats, besides a couple of single action methods which are highly labour intensive and A24s just reduce that labour by up to 75%. Because they're light and small, uh, they don't require a large amount of preparation of the forest. So we set the whole of Native Island up with five volunteers and it took us four days to cut, mark and establish the traps and track network suitable to eradicate Native Island. Before installing the Good Nature A24 traps we estimated the density of rats on Native Island and also directly across the water on Stewart Island using tracking cards and tracking tunnels. This process is called monitoring. It's a simple and scientific method that gives us our benchmark numbers which we can assess the effectiveness of the traps by. 12 months ago, the pre-monitor on Native Island recorded a rat density of 73%, significantly higher than the 16% density recorded on Stewart Island. The first monitor, eight weeks after establishing the Good Nature Network, showed that the traps were having a pronounced effect. The rat density on Native Island almost halved, while on Stewart Island without the Good Nature Network, the density actually increased. It took only 12 months to get the monitor levels down to 0% on Native Island, and it's at this stage that the beauty of the Good Nature system really shines. A network of A24 traps not only takes a rat population down to 0%, but it keeps it there with minimal maintenance requirements. The system becomes an unmatched biosecurity control tool, preventing any reinvading rodents from establishing a fresh population. This is great news for our endangered native birds, which require levels of rats to be consistently low over a sustained period to breed, feed, fledge and ultimately flourish. We're just about to install one more Good Nature A24 uh, onto the outside of the island. We're going to set it up uh, a wee way off the ground here so that none of our, our rails can get in here, the, the wecker. So we'll pre-feed it in the same way as we do, do with uh, any of our traps. A couple of little smears up underneath the trap here on the tree 
and then uh, install the bait bottle in the top. Every four weeks we're smearing a bit of this pre-feed under the devices and that uh, keeps them pretty attractive to the animals. So the other component that we've, uh, that we've changed every six months is the CO2 and that's ready to go. All of the traps around here are on 50 metre intervals and each of the lines that we've got are about 100 metres apart. We know that a, that a rat has a home range of around a hectare and so installing a trap every 50 metres allows us to intercept each of those animals. The power of the, uh, of the attractant and the strength of a rat's nose basically allow them to, uh, to be drawn from quite a distance. Sniffer dogs are trained to detect live rats. Gadget the dog and Sandy have come across to Native Island to examine in greater depth the effectiveness of the Good Nature Network. Gadget spent the day with us on the island without detecting a single rat, confirming the nil monitor finding from the tracking tunnels. Good Nature traps are durable and lightweight. With each trap weighing only 400 grams, an able-bodied trapper can carry 30 devices on their back and single-handedly provide protection across a large tracts of forest. In that pack is 30 traps, that's 720 kills. The monthly maintenance check requires no consumables to be carried. All they take with them is their lunch, a raincoat and a camera. It becomes a bushwalk, a walk in the park so to speak. Every six months, the gas and the lure must be changed. This is what a pack looks like to maintain 30 traps. There's 30 gas canisters, 30 lure bottles, your lunch, a raincoat, and don't forget that apple. Native Island is separated from Stewart Island by 80 metres of water. It's at the mouth of a large inlet with strong tidal flows. That combined with the prevailing westerly winds means that rats can, and do, reinvade. The ongoing challenges for keeping Native Island and islands like Native pest free is detecting and controlling reinvading predators before they have impact upon the things we're protecting on the island. So all of our islands at some stage will be invaded by something and we have to have all sorts of biosecurity um, networks in place and so the good nature traps, the best thing about them is they're ready and waiting all of the time to catch an animal immediately on, upon its arrival. We're at site number 68 and we've found one of the culprits that, uh, that we were hoping to catch in this latest rebate. We found a little, uh, a little ship rat here it's been killed cleanly by an A24. The importance of the network that we've got on the island is that even though we're detecting no rats in our detection system, the system is still completely available for killing rats. So wherever we have a reinvasion from the mainland, the network remains as a biosecurity tool. And who says there's no such thing as a free lunch? The challenges we faced on Native Island are no different to those that we face on the mainland. We've illustrated that we can eradicate a target species and we have a biosecurity network in place to control any re-invaders. Good Nature believes New Zealand will be pest free. It won't be tomorrow, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't start today.